Alright, I have a message for you that might help you not judge yourself uh, at all. Because my goal is that you don't judge yourself at all. That's my goal to get you to realize that you don't have to do that. You don't have to ever judge yourself and, and, and harm yourself unnecessarily emotionally. Um, now, I, I feel... Excuse me. I feel like in this culture, it's expected of us to judge ourselves when we do something wrong. To say, oh my, oh my goodness, I did something wrong. I'm such a shithead. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. I'm going to tell you something that might sound controversial, and I want to preface it by saying I'm not suggesting that anybody do anything harmful. I don't like harmful actions. I don't like pain and people causing pain, and I think it's one of the biggest contributors to, to uh, the suffering of human beings. So I don't advocate causing harm. But what I'm saying is, if you cause harm, if that's what you decide to do, you don't have to judge yourself for it. Whether it's intentional or unintentional. You don't have to slap your own wrist and say, bad, bad, bad. You can do, you can just do what you do without any need for guilt. Now guilt in this society or people think that guilt is necessary to curb bad behavior. I don't think that's the case. I think that to curb bad behavior the best way to do that is to morally well well no it's to it's to see the benefits of goodness and the big picture of why goodness and love help humanity and see just see the big picture of the fact that goodness is better in my opinion when you see that when you see what goodness is and what goodness does, in my opinion, it's undoubtedly superior. That's my that's my state. That's my uh, belief, and that's what I see when I look at good for goodness versus evil. Somebody else might look at something different. They might say evil is better. I don't agree, but honesty is. I think honesty is better than all of them than both good or evil. I think honesty is the best, is the is the most is the highest ideal. So as I said, I'm not advocating that you go out and murder somebody. I don't think that that's a good activity. I'm not saying that you should do that. But what I'm saying is you don't have to even no matter what you do no matter how bad it is, you don't have to guilt trip yourself ever. Now this may sound this may sound terrible to some people, but it's really not. Because guilt tripping yourself is just causing you unnecessary pain. That's all that's its only purpose. Because if you're going to do good, you're going to do good. If you're going to do evil, you're going to do evil. It depends on, that depends on what you want. And I think, I think people can be afraid of themselves. I know that's happened to me. That I was afraid of myself. But what I did was I just got to know 
what was going on deep down more and more and more and more until I felt comfortable letting loose until I felt comfortable just saying okay fuck it right I got you know that's the culmination the fuck it is not just a simple thing that I did it's really the culmination of like 10 years of analysis <laughs> you know like it took a long time it really did it took a long time but I was but at the, but I don't think it has to take everyone a long time um I think there's a, a feeling of unsafeness if you if you decide to stop guilt tripping yourself. There's a feeling that, like maybe you'll say, I won't be safe. I will cause harm if I don't guilt trip myself. That is what I what I would what I would like you to reconsider. I don't think that's the case. But ask yourself, is that the case? Just, not guilt tripping yourself doesn't mean you have to do evil activities. It just means that if you do make a mistake, this provided you're a good person, if you do make a mistake, you just say, fuck it, I made a mistake. You just go, you just go, you just don't have to care. You just be like, yeah, you know, I was pretty rude to that person, and fuck it. Uh, I, I don't need to feel bad about it. I don't approve of my behavior, but I don't really need to beat myself up about it. I just won't do it again. That's it. All right. See ya.